A key question to think about though, before you think about how you're going to fill it in, is why have the data gone missing? And there's three, you know, kind of common reasons why data go missing. And I apologize for the names. I didn't make these names up, but the names are a little bit confusing. So I'll tell you what the official names are for these categories, and then I'll explain them and tell you kind of how I think about them in my head. The first one is missing completely at random. The second reason why data go missing are missing at random, or MAR. So notice the, the word completely is missing here, um, which is of interest because MCAR and MAR have very different meanings, even though they look mostly the same. And then there's missing not at random, or MNAR. So let's walk through each of these individually and think about, you know, uh, why data may go missing that belong to each of these three categories. Missing completely at random means that missing cases are effectively no different than non-missing cases and that the underlying mechanism is truly random. It's completely random. Another way to think about this is that data are missing independently of both observed and unobserved data. So what I mean by that is that let's say you're looking at a study where you're trying to study the link between diabetes control and outdoor exercise patterns. And there's a person who has diabetes and they basically flip a coin to decide whether they should record their blood glucose or their sugar. Assuming that, you know, they don't have a ton of missing values, let's say only, you know, 25% of the values are missing. The fact that they're randomly deciding whether to record the blood sugar or not means that if you're studying the link between diabetes control and outdoor exercise patterns, having missing values that are generated completely randomly shouldn't affect your overall conclusions by much. And so this is the type of missingness that we hope for, um, because if our data are missing completely at random, then even if we were to throw out those rows um, where data were missing, we should still have an accurate representation of the relationship between these two variables, because the only reason why the data were missing were just randomness. Missing at random is where the missingness is fully explained by the observed variables. So in my head, I don't think of this as missing at random. I think of this as missingness that's explained by the variables in your data set. So given the observed data, data are missing independently of unobserved data. In other words, the missingness has nothing to do with variables that are not in your data set and entirely to do with the variables that are in your data set. So for example, let's say you're again studying the effect of diabetes control on outdoor exercise patterns. Let's say men are less likely to record their blood glucose than women. If you knew that that was the case, anytime you see missingness, you uh, can, you know, say that this missingness um, probably resembles, you know, uh, the missingness or the uh, values that for blood glucose in men than women, because uh, having a missing value here makes it much more likely that, you know, uh, you're male. So here, you know, if we were just to toss out all the missing values, in effect, we'd be tossing out more men than women. And if there happens to be a difference in diabetes control uh, in men or women, or a difference in the relationship between diabetes control and outdoor exercise in men or women, we would lose that relationship by tossing out missing values because in effect, we'd be tossing out a bunch of men and studying mostly the women. Missing not at random describes a situation where the missingness is purely related to things that are not in your data set. And so, as you can imagine, 
you really shouldn't be able to figure out if missingness is due to MNAR because looking at your data, it might look entirely random or completely random, but if the missingness is because of a variable that you just didn't collect, then it, you know, there could be a reason for the missingness that you are completely missing and not aware of. So for example, in that same study that we referred to in the last two examples, imagine that people are less likely to record their blood sugar in the winter. And you happen to not be measuring the season for when data gets entered. How will this affect your findings? So if people are less likely to record their blood sugar in winter, the effect that you find of diabetes control on outdoor exercise might really be reflecting only the relationship that's present in the other seasons. However, if you were to you know, get rid of these rows of data, you wouldn't realize it, but you're actually throwing out all the data that comes from winter. And that might dramatically change this relationship between diabetes control on outdoor exercise patterns. So the only way to deal with this situation would be to, you know, call people up when they have missing values and say, hey, you know, uh, what was the season when this value was missing? And if they, if they said, oh, yeah, let me go check my log that you know happened to be in the middle of December, then you can start to recreate that variable. But if that season information was not in your actual data set, you may not ever realize that, you know, this is the reason why data went missing. So just to refresh, if the missingness is completely random, we call it MCAR, or missing completely at random. If the missingness is due to a pattern that's present in your data set from other variables, so, you know, person is male or female, that's why the data went missing, and you have uh, whether a person is male or female in your data set, then that's missing at random or MAR. And if the missingness looks completely random to you, it looks like MCAR, but the missingness in reality is due to a variable you just didn't collect, then we would call that missing not at random. And unfortunately, there's really no way for you to prove that your data is missing not at random other than to go out and collect variables that might explain the missingness um, as you kind of look through the set of variables and see what might be missing uh, or what you might not have collected that might have an impact on whether the data went missing.